Okay, 3.1, problem number 21 is asking us to come up with the equation of the tangent line at the spot where x is equal to 3 if they've given you these two pieces of information. f of 3 is equal to 5 and f prime of 3 is equal to 2. So we know we've got some curve out there, but we don't really know what the curve looks like, and they've told us two important things. First of all here, they've given us the location of one point on the curve, and if you guys think about what you know about a tangent line, this point right here. It's the tangent line when x is equal to 3, so f of 3 is going to give you the point of tangency of your original line right here. So we know we pass through the point 3, 5. Now the second piece of information they give you right here is the value of your derivative at that spot there where x is equal to 3. And what use is the, the value of the derivative to us? That tells us the slope of our tangent line is going to be positive 2. So in their own way, they've given you the only two things you need to know to come up with the equation of a line, a point that it passes through and the slope of that line. So we're going to go to point slope form, everybody, and then we'll talk about what to do next. So point slope form is y minus your y coordinate, so that's going to be y minus 5, equals the slope of your line, which is 2, and then in parentheses, x minus your x-coordinate here, which is 3. So there's the equation here of that tangent line in point-slope form. And as I'm looking at number 21 right here, there is a problem, guys, with the way your book writes their directions. All it says, I'm reading it right now, find an equation of the tangent line at x equals 3. The directions don't specify what form they want it in. So if you guys quit right there, I would have to give you full credit because you've given me a proper equation of the tangent line. However, when I give you a problem like this on a quiz or a test, I'll be specific and tell you that I want that answer in slope-intercept form. So two steps. We're going to distribute that 2 here. y minus 5 is equal to, that'll be a 2x minus 6. And then we'll go ahead and add a 5 on the left and add a 5 on the right. There we go. And we'll end up now with our answer in slope intercept form of y equals, and that'll be a 2x minus 6 plus 5 is a 1, and that's the answer I'm pretty sure that they have in the back of the book. So they're asking you just to assume that they want the answer in slope-intercept form. A better written problem would tell you what form they wanted it in. So really, this is the better version of the answer, but on a legal technicality, you'd get full credit for that one as well if the directions don't say what form to put it in. Okay. And that's number 21.